All right, boys, we're back at it again here at the shop with the FL5. We're going to be taking off the Magnaflow exhaust. Shout out to Magnaflow. God, that's <laughs> We're back at it again, folks. This time, we're replacing something that we really do not need to replace. Actually, this opportunity came from Turn 14. Shout out to them. They shot us over a brand new stainless steel remark exhaust for the FL5. Now, we already have an exhaust already, and it's pretty good, sounds great, has a removable resonator, so this way when we go on track, we can remove the resonator and we can add a straight pipe, converting this into pretty much a straight pipe racing exhaust. Are we live? I don't know if recording actually is live, but yeah, we're here. Now, Remark, again, shout out to them too, are shooting us this exhaust. It looks pretty nice. It's a twin tip instead of a tri-tip. And the differences here are, number one, this is full stainless steel. Number two, it does not have a valve. This is a valveless exhaust system. And if you're gonna ask me, will it trip a code? We don't know, huh, Morris? We have no clue. The only thing we have done is we disconnected the valve currently, started the car, put it in R mode, revved it while it's on the lift, and we got no code. That's a good sign. Now, we don't know if it's gonna give us a code. It might. And if it doesn't, we'll deal with it then. But we're gonna go ahead and try this exhaust out. I've heard good things about it. I think it's gonna sound great. We're gonna see how it's gonna sound, and we're gonna have a perfect time of breaking it in at the track this weekend. All right, Morris already started with the diffuser. He removed the plastic shroud here, exposing the exhaust. He's already taken some of the hangers off. He's released it in the front. Have you already disconnected the front pipe? Front pipe. Um, four of the rear exhaust hangers and then one of the midsection hangers. Now, we are going to retain our RV6 front pipe that was gracefully, gracefully, <laughs> that was gracefully given to us by RV6, shout out. We're not gonna remove that. We're gonna opt to keep it and we're gonna run from the front pipe back the Remark exhaust system. So if you guys are interested in this product, go ahead and hit up the guys over here at Group N Garage. They have it on the website. They can order it for you, have it drop shipped to your address or even picked up here at the shop. You want the guys here to install it. But enough of our commercial segment. We're gonna get to putting this. <laughs> We're gonna get to putting this exhaust on and taking this bad boy off. Now she has served her purpose. Again, carbon fiber tips, which again, Magnaflow says that you can customize this to either carbon fiber stainless steel, however you like. These tips are fully interchangeable. And again, this is a tri-tip exhaust, which is kind of like the stock exhaust. But one thing, to be honest with you, that I never liked was how it protruded from the back. Just kind of hung out too far out. I'm really hoping that this exhaust doesn't do that, but I'm already digging the nice big tips. Yeah, now we have the option uh, dual tip rather than um, a three tip style like the OEM style. Um, stainless steel all around. It does have a resonator and obviously the the big muffler section. Um, Packaging comes great. Yeah, um, they I believe they I mean they don't want you to get your fingertips on it just due to the fact that it can leave imperfections on the actual stainless steel. Yeah, it's gonna be but tough. We'll get you, it cleaned out after. You got gloves. We'll you get got, it cleaned out after. You got gloves. And basically <laughs> the exhaust is ready to come down, so we'll take it down and start mocking up the remark. All right, boys, we went ahead and removed the Magnaflow exhaust. That's already gone. Morris now is going to put the twin tip muffler on. We're gonna be as careful as we can, not fingerprint it all up. Um, again, because I guess once it fires up and it gets hot, it is stainless steel and it will leave marks. They, they go 
above and beyond to give you cleaning instructions and everything, which is which is pretty cool of them to do that. This is a full stainless steel exhaust. Remark does offer a titanium one too, no? I believe so. That's that would have been dope. But hey. It's a little pricey. I wonder if like the titanium besides weight will change the tone. The yeah, tone. The metals the metals are different. So the way that it echoes off the metal is different. So you then you know what? Then the Woo! All of the uh, all of the info that I've gotten, right? All the information that I've gotten has come from uh, people that own the titanium one. Mm. So I'm wondering how this one might sound. Yeah. yeah, I have. I'm a fan of titanium, but a certain type of fan of titanium. Like I don't like the burnt no. tip color stuff. I don't I like that. I don't have the down. <laughs> I think you got it upside down, my boy. The marking is very... It is. Well, I guess they want you to look at it when you're underneath the car. Okay, boys. We're getting a, a look of, of the exhaust right now. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Can, can, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's actually going to look pretty cool. Uh, I, I, was, I was on the I fence. Match the... You, you think so? <laughs> can oh, you imagine? All right, guys, we're putting in the midsection piece, right? That's, that's what we're doing, Morris. Yeah. Oh, front pipe section. yeah, this has the resonator, which is pretty thin, <laughs> if, it's, if you're asking us. Uh, but again, solid weld, solid construction here. And this Remark exhaust. I mean, looks pretty good, huh, Morris? Yeah. Walls are nice. Yeah, right? Actually, nicer than the than the other guys. Oh, All right, guys. Here's the Remark exhaust put on. We're still not 100% done with it. So far, Morris has the mid pipe or resonator pipe put on. Just bolting this down. We still got the last portion to go, but so far on observation, I mean, I'm gonna say it's a well well made exhaust. I mean. All the welds look phenomenal. So far, fitment on the car looks great. This twin tip, I think really makes the car stand out a little bit more than the tri-tip that it comes with. Morris needs some help. Where did it come by? No. What the fuck? What bump do you need? He knows. Oh, wow. In the, in the I'm gonna tell your mom, and I know where she lives. <laughs> Alright guys, spot check time. We had to pull an audible. The RV6 downpipe does... For me, record me. No, no, no. You can't, because you don't have the mic. Alright boys, we're going to have to pull an audible here with the exhaust system. Initially, we were going to run the RV6 front pipe and just connect it to the Remark piping but that's not gonna happen oh morris it looks like the pitch right you were saying that comes from the rv6 front pipe that connects to this piece here let's let's bring you guys into it was not marrying up right and what we think is should I, should is I show them a physical yeah and morris Basically, is gonna go ahead and give you guys is like an example. this is the front pipe flange and this like my hand is like the uh, remark exhaust so basically the top piece was hitting first allowing a big gap on the bottom so then it wouldn't flush the like sit against the pipes causing a, a leak yeah got my boost for the day so now we went ahead and pulled the rv6 front pipe and connected the stainless steel remark one and i mean it, it looks good too it, it do you think it's bigger guys no that's probably the same Look, here, yeah, here comes Mr. 90. Why do you want to make sure it actually goes? Actually, I'm going to call him Mr. 10. Mr. 10? Because 90 would mean he did 90% of the work. 10 is he comes in, fastens up a couple couple screws, and then he's ready to go. I know, I'm serious. I'm going to have to hold this. This shit's like fucking twisted. Just then. Pressure on it and it snapped. That's what they all say. Fuck that fucking car. I hate this fucking integrity. That's what everyone says. I barely fucking touched it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. do shit. Like it, it, I barely got it like seated, and then I just gave it a little bit, and it snapped. When good cars go bad. <laughs> that here is not a good car. 
Whoa, hey, yay, yay. The 1.5 meter Acura Integra is trash. I agree. I will stand behind that fucking statement. Well, That's why I might go with an Apple 5, bro. And this message. This one might be up for sale soon. Okay. Oh, you got a leaky yeah, brake break here or what? <laughs> yeah. I told Lewis, hey, the moment we have to recheck the brakes and if we need to change fucking brake seals, that's it. We gotta go take it in. I'll buy it for 30. You're high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 30. He's like, I'm gonna black check them it out, you. boys. This is this is proper stance technique. This is how you don't pull your back out. Yep. With the steel toe boots. With the steel toe boots. You're gonna need bolts. Look at him. <laughs> Yep, and, uh, hey, right, right. but he still somehow finds a way to stub his toe. <laughs> the steel. The steel stubbed it. Oh, man. Hey, how much torque are we putting on this? Tight is tight? Yes. Wait, wait, what, loosen it? I'll hold it here. Look at this is the attention to detail. That Lewis gives all FL5s. Only your FL5. That's a, that could potentially be a good fact. Or maybe he just likes stroking pipe. <laughs> she got him. Hey. guys spot check here we're all done we're all buttoned up what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the car on and just to check to see if there's any leaks which we should be fine but we're just gonna double check and then we're gonna give it a couple revs and see what it sounds like So the tone sounds nice and healthy. No real gurgles going on. You can hear the turbo spooling, which is pretty cool. And uh, remarkably, it's not as loud as we thought it would be. It's actually got a nice little tone to it. Very impressed. All right, Morris, honest thoughts? You want my honest, honest thoughts? Yeah. Better than the magnet though. Sounds better? Yeah. But I mean, I, I like it a little louder. I like exhausts that have a nice, quiet, deep tone. And this has a good tone, even though it's semi-loud. Right? Yeah, that, that's, that's exactly what I was gonna get at. It's, it's, it's loud enough. Great. It's not Tomi loud. Tomi's loud. It's no, Tomi's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, Lewis. Honest thoughts of the Remark stainless steel exhaust for the FL5. I like it better than the other one. Yeah, I do too, but I mean, 
the diameter is bigger. It's Oops. a lot bigger nicer. Better. Welds. Bigger is better. No, not bigger is better, but it sounds a lot better for sure because I I feel like we were you were more worried about the drone, mm -hmm. but I feel because it's not titanium, because it's a stainless steel. There's a lot more like there's gonna be a lot less vibration like moving, and because it has that that big resonator in there, it's gonna really help like keep that you know that droning us down i mean obviously we're tracking we want to hear what's happening with the engine but having a super loud exhaust isn't really helpful especially when you're trying to focus on you know the track but overall i like the design of the tips it looks way better than those three big ass another dancers. another thing we uh we realized too huh is that this is what three inch piping yeah and the one that we had before kind of looked like it was two and a half i think and the funny thing is it actually made a difference when we tuned so i wonder if that was bottlenecking us it was giving us a bottleneck because we had the front pipe which was stock and then we had like a two and a half which really wasn't helping us at all you know but then once we did the rv6 front pipe it it opened up so much so much more room but i wonder if that was keeping the engine from making that additional like couple horsepower you know i mean we, are, we made a lot you know more yeah. than we had, we had expected <laughs> but it's I, li I just like the tips better honestly this if you're looking at it here like over the over edge like if you look if you look like if you're look at your trunk this isn't going to be hitting your foot you know like if you're you know practicality wise you know if you're if you're using this you know you're going to be in here you're not going to be hitting your foot with the hot exhaust because i thought that happened to me with the other one a couple of times i would be going up like oh shit. yeah the the that's what i was saying the other exhaust pretty much it protruded a little bit too much it, it kind of got to this little hump here in the uh, diffuser and now this one's tucked a little bit in and again it's, it's probably about that less or close to an inch from here off but uh overall like i said before i i, I really like it i like it you gotta just drive it now yeah we're see how it sounds take it for a spin see what it does and we'll give you guys a little review actually we'll, we'll probably just give you a better review of it out on the track because that's when we're really going to open it up it'll sound way better at the track we'll break it in this week for the one and a half times it'll go out and uh <laughs> yeah may maybe you can catch him at the doghouse event but anyway so far so good no check engine light this exhaust word to the wise does not have a valve system so yes, guys, everything that the Japanese engineers did to this FL5, we have completely removed, okay? We removed the plenum, we've removed everything, <laughs> okay? Yeah, this exhaust does not utilize the stock OEM little valve that our previous exhaust had and the stock exhaust. So again, all we did was unplug it, we zip tied it, put some electrical tape, and we called it a day. Now, when it comes to check engine light, we'll let you know if we get one once we drive it and put it out in the street. Otherwise, uh, we'll keep you guys in the loop. Now, again, guys. Yeah, that, that one pipe alone was heavier than the whole box, this whole box. <laughs> yeah, because I picked up that box when I got it from the from UPS, and dude, that shit's heavy. Yeah. Just that, just that one pipe. I'm gonna say it's the resonator because yeah, that resonator was heavy when it was in the car. But anyways, like I was about to say, Lewis, lead us out. All right, I guess not. Here we go. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna conclude our install for today, or lack thereof. I think we're gonna get a real idea of what the exhaust is gonna give us once we're out on the track. We're gonna take the car for a test drive right now, but we'll give you guys some more details about it once we hit the track this Sunday. And again, from myself, from the trusty labor assistant, from the four-time Edge, three-county Edge master, Lewis. I think your number goes up like every <laughs> And our guest special, Micah, all the way from Alaska. We'll catch you guys out on the next one.